for Lori and Friends provided by Waste Management. Think green, think waste management. Hello and welcome to Lori and Friends. Lori and Friend, Judy Clark, yes, but she's... She, <laughs> um, my gynecologist by day. <laughs> Actress, improv person on weekends and nights. Actually, you're down to one day a week. I'm down to one day a week. One day a week. Of working. Actual. Of actual working. The rest is just playing. Using her medical degree that, that she worked so hard to get. Yes. Yes, one day a week. One day a week. And then you took those online courses. I took those online courses. <laughs> <laughs> she now has three dog productions. It's my website. It's her website. If you want to see what Judy's doing around the area, Three Dog Productions. Well, the thing is now remember, with the Three Dog Productions, <laughs> you got to have the S in there. It's got to be productions. <laughs> and this is my acting website. This is just judyclark.us. And that, that's my acting resume, my headshots, my reel, just, you know, boring stuff that I do on the weekends. She has... A medical degree. I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? <laughs> and you're a darn good gynecologist because well, I've been going you. to you forever, right? Yeah, about 20 years. Um, oh, no, no, only 10 because you're not that old. That's right. I would have would have been a child. Who she brings with her? Somebody's giving my you award. an Oscar. Somebody gave you an Oscar. Who gave you the Oscar? May I show the Oscar? You may. You may. Uh, Oh, oh. Leave it right there. Oh, he wants to focus in. Oh, the other thing about it. it is since it's made completely of chocolate, we probably yes. don't want to touch it that much because it's probably melting under the lights. I received an award from the president of my clack. Her name What's is... What's a clack? A clack is a collection of people that I pay to clap for me at performances. Unfortunately, she's not making a lot of money right now. Her name is Fran Volpe, and she heads my clack, and she's my chief stalker. Can I hire Fran as my stalker as well? Yes, I think you could. <laughs> she doesn't get a lot of business from where I come from, so maybe she could. Maybe she can like outsource. Okay. Yeah. We will. We will do that. So, but on behalf of the academy, I'd like to thank you. On behalf of the academy, and I thought to myself, this is crazy. It's a chocolate Oscar. Who'd make a chocolate Oscar? She hands me the brochure, and I laugh. Because, of course, it's my friend Marianne Hess. <laughs> Marianne Hess, barber by day, Willy Wonka at night. Okay? There you go. Everybody in western New York has dual careers. It's like me, hazardous waste by day. <laughs> Cook. Cooking show person once a month while I tape my shows. Everybody in western New York has two jobs. But Marianne Hess at Niagara Honeymoon Suites, where your friend... Fran Volpe. Fran Volpe went yep. to get this. She has uh, Oscars. Look at this. Yes, she Little does. Academy Awards. And I was the... told I'm able to eat it because maybe I'll get another one in the future. Maybe you'll get one also. <laughs> maybe I could just go buy myself one. <laughs> And honeymoon sweets. <laughs> and it has a little gold on top of it. I As you can see, it's a little that. shimmery, That's... and you can eat that. I thought you would like that. So why are we wearing uh, Buffalo Bill shirts? Because we're having a Super Bowl show today. Yes, we are. You can take these off now if you want to be able to use this. Yeah, it is getting a little... It's not as yeah, bright as I thought it was yeah, going to be. Okay. So. It's okay. All righty. Well, that and if you want to use this in for something of your uh, yes. portfolio... You got it. I'm for your television, here. your television appearances. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe this will make my reel. So this is a Super Bowl show or a football party show. It will run up until Super Bowl, and maybe you'll have other parties in between then. So these yes. are, and we're always hopeful about the Bills. That's always the other hopeful. thing about the people in Western New York. You each have two jobs, and you must be a Buffalo Bills fan because if not, we throw you out of the area. So that's it. So of we're course. wearing. This is my son's shirt. I'm not even really sure who I'm wearing. I'm not, I don't really understand football. Well, Sean McCoy. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So um, today I'm a McCoy fan, and uh, I don't even know what position he plays. Running back. He's the running back, right? So, and he's still with us, right? Yes. Okay, all right, all right. Yes. Good. Okay, good, good. As of today. I needed, <laughs> as of today. You never know with the bills. <laughs> but our job here is to create great recipes for you to have at your Super, Super Bowl party or yes. football party yes, as you go through the end of the season. Exactly. So what have you got for me? We are going to make a chicken wing pizza, and we're also going to make something called 
ham roll-ups. It's kind of a family recipe. Since the chicken wing pizza is going to take the longest, we're going to start with that. Okay. So you got your grilled chicken here. Mm -hmm. um, I boil the chicken, but somebody told me it might be stringy, so I we went with this. Chickens. I like using. I like using this kind of pre-cooked chicken because it chunks up better. Every time I boil chicken, it gets stringy. Maybe I boil it for too long. I'm really not sure. I don't know. You're the expert here. Look at how easy And you this take is. about a medium-sized pie crust, and we're going to take one eight-ounce package of cream cheese, and I'm going to spread this on the pie crust as she cuts the chicken. But before that, I'm going to take some butter, and I'm going to warm up just a little bit of butter, because <clears throat> we got to make a sauce. It's chicken wing sauce. All right. So we're going to do that. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to turn this up because Lori wouldn't let me turn it up earlier. Yeah, and as soon as yourself. that melts, then we'll add the hot sauce. All right, so let me go Only here. Frank's hot sauce. Only Frank's. Come yeah. on, people. You're from Buffalo, Niagara right. Falls. Exactly. Come on. Come on. All righty. So are you having your um, Super Bowl party this year? Yes. Judy used to live in my neighborhood, and I have a huge Super Bowl party every year. <laughs> yes. Yes. And um, some years it's bigger than others because some years more people come that are available. Sometimes people go to the Super Bowl, aren't available. But hey, we went to the um, playoff game last year in Miami. That's right. Yes. Jackson. Jackson. Miami. Oh, no, we went, to the, we went to the Miami game. That's right. We went to the Miami game before Jacksonville. He's right. <laughs> Um, it was Rarely a lot of fun. do you have fun. the cameraman yell stuff back at you. <laughs> My you, husband you, would too. He'd be really disappointed yeah, but in you me right now. You understand that Mark's other job, yes. okay, other than just doing Lori and Friends, he doesn't just sit at home editing Lori and Friends, is he's a cameraman for the Bills. <laughs> okay. All right. No? Okay. No? no <laughs> we're, just, we're just wrong all day I today. Is it, is it just the Sabres? No. No? Do you work for the Bills organization? <laughs> you're not a cameraman? Oh, you, you're up in the booth doing stuff. Okay. All right. Well, we are just going to kind of keep going because we are wrong the, the whole time. So I'm just going to mm -hmm. add some Frank hot sauce, about a half a cup, but you can add as much as you like to the butter. The butter kind of softens the taste just a little bit, adds a little creaminess to it. And then we're going to let this kind of warm up a little bit because you want to burn off some of the hot sauce. That's just... Mild. That's just regular. That's not super hot. Yeah, this is original. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't get the real hot stuff. Now when the key. You, here we go. The key to make it even better is to add a little white vinegar. So that makes it a little bit uh, sharper. Really? Yeah. And okay. that's the key to chicken wings and chicken wing pizza and everything good. So you just add a little bit of vinegar. All right. And then I you kind of to wash my floors. <laughs> it was all purpose thing. She said, Do you have white vinegar? I said, Yeah, over here. I washed my floors that up with a it. bit. And then why don't you put the chicken? Can I put the chicken in there? Sure. All mm -hmm. right, just with my hands. Here. I'll do it. I will, but you know. There you go. Do you want to handle the chicken? It's pre cooked chicken. Well, I would have. She's such a diva. I am. You can all use right, any I can of use those. the spoon. Okay, so then now we're going to just. Coat the chicken with the hot sauce. All right. And now we're going to put the chicken with the hot sauce on top of this and try not to get it all over our jerseys. Okay. I'm going to move way out of her way. Yeah. Why don't you? <laughs> and whose jersey is that again? Oh, Cameron's jersey. Cam's. Yeah, I don't need that. to get stuff all over it and he'll yell, just yell at me. Exactly. Because these right. aren't cheap, these jerseys. They are not. We actually went out looking for a Kyle Williams jersey for today, but we couldn't find them. They were all sold out. Aww. Yeah. He is retiring. Uh, yeah. Okay. You got that one? I saw the news. All right. We got that right, Mark? You got that right. Okay. All right. Now, you can add as much chicken as you want. So I'm just going to kind of spread this all over here. And then you got the cheese, Lori? Right here, Judy. And then we're just going to put some mozzarella cheese on the top, add as much as you like, and stick it in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes until the crust You is think crisp. it's going to take that long? We're going to check this after 15. <laughs> well, I'm serious. Okay. At four, right. 425 or 450 if you had it, because everything here is pre-done. Yeah, but you want to you wanna like um, cook the crust and stuff like that, and you want the, the cheese to melt. 
right, excellent. All right, I'm going to check in. it after 15. I'm going to check it after 15. It's going okay. to go in during the break. Okay. What have you been doing lately? Any improv? Oh, yes. Murder mystery theater? Yes. What have we, you been doing? Well, we have a couple coming up. We have an a, um, a improv um, January 23rd at the Meeting House in Williamsville. And we have two murder mysteries coming up in February. Um, one in Lewiston at the Lewiston Brick House. I think that's uh, February 23rd. Okay. And we also have one at Suncliffe in Angola. And then we have another one in Hamburg coming up at the Comfort Zone. That should be in March. So we are doing well with improv. With improv, with these really my cool... singing. Yes, I still have my singing gig at the Eden Heights. My karaoke sing-alongs, which you love. It's, she sends me clips of them. That's you at a, a retirement home, right? Yes. It's a, yes. it's a nursing home. Yes. Where people can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> so what she I'm goes in there as a form of torture and just does uh, karaoke for these people? I am trying to secure my bed there. It's a wonderful place. I figured if I give of myself now, they'll just generally keep me in the future when it's time. You know what I like? I like the stories of how you start there and people with their walkers get up and, and have to and probably, leave. Well, well, they have to go to the restroom or something and they walk right in front of you as you're performing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do that. They walk in and out. They come, they sing up. They sing with me up by the mic and stuff. Well, that's and what karaoke is all about. Exactly. Let, let's face it. Yeah. I like that you have a captive audience. You've really found I a do. place with a captive audience where, you know, maybe you know, I live so close to Our Lady of Peace. Really, what's stopping me from going over Ooh, there? You should. I think they would really like her. Don't do you, you think? Do you have your own karaoke machine? No, I use theirs. They have their own karaoke they machine. They have their own karaoke machine and does really well. I do bring my pianist, Roz Warren. Okay. Yes. Okay. I need one of those. I also need, what did you call those people? Clackers or what are they? A clack. A clack. Yeah. So she's a clacker. She's the president of my clack. She's Fran. the president of your clack. Okay, my I'm going to need one of those too. Yes. Note to self for Everybody 2019. Everybody needs a president I of the need, clack. I need that. I need one of those. So if you're interested, you can go to my website and sign up to be one of those people. Mine won't pay anything. I'm going to stick this in the oven. <laughs> Mine doesn't pay either. <laughs> I'm going to stick this in the oven at 425. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we've got your other recipe. Ham roll-ups. And a quick one of mine. Ooh, Ooh a she a little surprise. A little surprise. Yay. On our Super Bowl show, uh, Dr. Judy Clark. <laughs> <laughs> And me, when we come right back on Lori and Prince. <laughs> think I'm trash, but they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can, but one day I could be a stadium. Welcome back to Lori and Friend with and Judy. Friend. The Lori and Judy show today. <laughs> so that you can put this up on your clips. Maybe I can show up on Three Dog Productions. Yes, yes. It's a different website if you go to the other one. So you got to have the S at the end. 
I can't even imagine what the other side is like. Go ahead. What do you, you got ready? for me here? Here's your second recipe. As I, the pizza's working. I have an old family recipe. We call them ham roll-ups. It's very simple. You take about eight ounces of cream cheese. You just stick that in a bowl here like this because Lori prepares everything so nice and makes it so easy for me. And then you get about two tablespoons of um, any kind of horseradish. And we kind of just, you know, average judge it. Never mm -hmm. really measure. We don't measure. We don't measure. We're real cooks. Real We're cooks real cooks. You got it. And then I'm going to mix this together. Put that there for now because I want to keep a clean workspace. And you can add, if it's too dry, you can always add a little bit of milk to it. Um, but I but when you use the whip stuff, it makes it much easier. Yeah. I also find the milk makes it a little bit too liquidy. Mm -hmm. So but you really kind of just want to mix all that horseradish in this up. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. I too have a horseradish recipe. Oh yes, I you do. Don't. I do. So start with a brick of cream cheese, and this is one of these recipes that if you always keep these ingredients in your house, I did this. I think when I first started the show 24 years ago, that if you have cream cheese, you can always entertain people behind your door. Look who's behind my door! Oh. Come on in. Let me give you something. As long as I have crackers and cream cheese, I can do this. So always keep preserves on hand. I love this. This is a local um, place right from I th from Youngstown, Ooh. and they're called Dragonfly, and they do different preserves. I get them at the Lewiston Tops. Okay. This is pineapple preserves. Ooh. Okay. So you're going to open up, and it's tough to find pineapple, and this works best with pineapple. So you're going to take some pineapple preserves, okay, and then you're going to take some horseradish. Again, no measuring required. No, none. And then you're going to take a little bit of dried mustard.